Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some resources that you can use for medical school for the USMLE um, Step 1 exam. Um, and I'm going to be comparing just two resources. I do have videos that talk about all the resources that I use and I can make more videos talking about resources, resources that you're interested in. But for this video, we're going to be talking about Lecturio and BNB or Boards and Beyond. I'm making this video because one of my um, viewers or subscribers um, asked for it. Again, if you ask for it and it's a possible video, I will do it. So go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything else. And comment below, let me know what you want to see next. So let's get to it. So first, what is BNB or Boards and Beyond? So BNB is a video series subscription kind of thing where you buy a subscription package that works for you. They have many. I will be discussing that in this video as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to talk about what it has to offer as, of course, as opposed to the pricing packages. So I feel like Boards and Beyond has saved my life, <laughs> to say the least. I feel like the videos are so comprehensive that right before an exam or a quiz or whatever, you can look at the topic and really get a good grasp of the topic you're looking at. So for example, I recently did um, a reproductive system and I was able to watch videos on ovarian tumors, on pregnancy, on the menstrual cycle, on the male um, anatomy and physiology. Um, so I feel like it really covers everything. Um, it goes by first aid, so after every video, you can go ahead and click the, the option where it says first aid and it'll tell you the exact pages that the topics or subtopics in first aid discuss. So I think that's very helpful because I also use a first aid book um, to make sure that I'm picking up on the details that are important um, and the buzzwords and the, all those things that are going to come up on the questions on the step one exam. So I definitely feel that by me using Boys and Beyond during my pre-clerkship, I am um, developing the skills that I need for my step one exam. So I definitely do recommend Boys and Beyond um, because it just creates that big idea um, and like you can refer to videos quickly and you know, you can um, review quickly. But again, it's more for review they don't go into specifics um for every single topic um they do cover everything i feel like on in in first aid but it's not like in depth and that is where lecturio comes in um i personally use lecturio because it's very in depth, I don't have a better word for it, but it's in depth. You're gonna probably get inf more information that, than you're gonna be tested on. Um, but for me, that helps because I get the um, basic sciences behind the clinical aspect of, of to say a disease or diagnosis. So like I can think back on not just the buzzwords, but also why it's happening. Um, and they also use a lot of images and those images have popped into my brain during exams and has helped me get those points. Um, and for Lecturio, not only do you have videos on all the topics and subtopics in first aid, but you also have anatomy, you have histology, you have um, things that are split up differently. And what I mean by that is that they have different playlists. So like, let's say you're looking for a playlist on ovarian tumors, but you just want the histology aspect of it. They're going to have a playlist that's like just histo and you can go down that playlist. So like, I feel like the fact that they create playlists is very helpful. They also have a search bar tour tool um, that you can use and it's linked to certain textbooks. So I think it's also very helpful. Um, and then they also have a quiz after every single video. Boys and Beyond also has a quiz after every video, but their video, their quizzes are more USMLE style and Lecturio is more like, did you catch the concept style? So I think like 
having both resources really helps because um Latreria is like a replacement for your textbook because you can do those concept checks you can um you know read about <laughs> learn about the details that are um probably not going to be tested but are important for you to recall the information that is going to be tested so yeah so that's like my intro to talking about the two resources now i'm going to talk about the pricing packages that they have three month plan one year plan two year plan four year plan but if you compare the two year plan which is a 239 to bnb which is 400 you could see the difference but again these are the packages um that both actorio and boards and beyond have to offer okay so now that we've established the pricing um let's talk about how i use them personally so i use boards and beyond and lectorio very often um i would say it's included in my prep daily because every single day so the way my curriculum is set if you haven't watched my prior videos i do explain it then if you already heard me explain it you can skip through this or you can just listen to it again but yeah, my curriculum is set up by systems and each block, well, it's set up by blocks, which is divided into systems. And so there's a lecture that's optional and there's mandatory sessions like PBL, TBL, and things like that. So um, for those sessions, particularly TBL, where we get an IRAP, um, which is like a quiz, I definitely use both resources. I also do the readings. Um, I barely do the readings because they take forever. And by readings, I mean like the textbook pages that are assigned. I just feel like it's too much, too much. Um, and I don't retain. So like that's where lecturio comes in. I find that watching a lecturio video and reading a section of the textbook is the same exact thing for my learning purposes in a shorter amount of time so like what i watched in a 15 or 10 minute video on lecturio would have taken me like 30 minutes to 45 minutes so it's very efficient then after i watched lecturio um to have like that broad covering all my bases um foundation I will watch BNB because BNB solidifies the information for me. I find that Dr. Ryan, I think that's his name, Dr. Ryan, he's a cardiologist. I want to be a cardiologist. So if he ever watches this, thank you for helping me so much already. Anyway, I'm such a loser. Whatever. Um, I like Boards and Beyond because it's more than a it's more than a review, but less than an in-depth thing. So I feel like you can watch a boys and beyond video on a topic and do pretty well in the quiz. Um, you might have to watch it at least twice, but the quiz afterwards, um, after the video that's USMLE style really also helps too because it'll solidify what was discussed in the video in a broader scope, in a more clinical way. Um, I think that's very helpful. And then, so yeah, that's how I use Boys and Beyond Lecturio. I kind of watch them before I have a quiz or before a lecture so that I'm prepared. I don't really watch them after the fact. Um, and what I mean by that, like, is once I have a lecture on a topic or a session on a topic, I try to have that be my second pass, um, or I guess third pass, because if I watch Lecturio, then BNB, that's like two different resources that is basically two passes and then i'll go to lecture so it's like third pass whatever um i feel like i don't want to go back on that topic and i'll just use like a usmle rx brick which is like a short article that's from another resource but i'll use that as like review um so yeah so boards and beyond and lecture really helped me be prepared for lecture school quizzes exams and hopefully step one because i'm really counting on that um so yeah and now i'm going to show you a quick example of what i am going to use lecturio for and then what am i going to use bnb for um i have recently finished my gyner block which is gi endocrine nutrition and reproduction i, I might have missed something oh hepatic yeah um so i'm going to start cardio stuff i'm so excited 
but I'll show you um, what it is that I'm going to cover in my lecture or that first day of class on Monday. Um, today is Tuesday, but I do have like, this is like my exam week, so I, I, have, I don't have lectures this week. But coming Monday, I will start prepping for it um, and I'm going to show you what I would do and how I would use Lecturio, how I would use BMB. So let's get to it. So the lecture tomorrow is on cardiac electrophysiology. So I guess we're going to be talking about the cardiovascular system, um, the transport, the, the basic structures and functions. Very introductory. These are the session objectives, which I try to cover um, through Lectorio and then also BNB. So for Lectorio, I look up the topic of the lecture and see how many things come up. Um, as I mentioned, you have like your physiology, your cases or trauma or histo, so you can pick. And they give you like the, the main lessons that go along with what you searched. And then they can also give you actual articles that you can look at, you can take quizzes, and you can go ahead and go to the courses where the playlists are located. As you can see, there's various playlists, so I'm just going to click the first one. Um, and here I could see there's cardiac physiology, vascular physiology. So I'm going to go to cardiac because that's the topic of the lecture. And then here it even breaks it down to more subtopics that you can definitely um, personalize your own studying and skip over what you don't think you're going to need and things like that. So I really like that because it's not like one long video like other resources out there. It's very short concise videos that are comprehensive and I also like that they list learning objectives so that I can compare those learning objectives with the ones that are given to me by um, my curriculum. So I think it's very very helpful and very user friendly so that's always a nice thing. Uh, so once you finish the video you can go back home and choose other ways to study. Um, they have different tabs that you can look at Next, we have Boards and Beyond. They have so many questions. I've already answered like almost half of them, um, but I'm going to show you the cardiology. So my quiz performance is not that good here, but that's because I haven't done cardio and it's just like questions that come up um, through other systems. But here you can see that they also split up their, their categories by discipline. So here we have the anatomy and physiology. Um, and then per video, you can just keep tab as to what you've seen as you can see i have not seen any of these um and then they also have a video index a video quiz and it's just very helpful to categorize what you need to know um, and keep track of what you have learned and what you've covered um and they really do split it up nicely here as well i just feel like there are less videos within each subtopic um but they do have more videos that are longer than like true like there's some videos on here that are like 30 minutes um so it just depends on the topic but i really do like both lectorio and bnb i recommend both of them thank you so much for watching if you like this video go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about board resources or life as a medical student also let me know because i can make videos addressing your questions um so yeah like comment subscribe thank you